Welcome to NGN, I'm Julian. I'm here with Mark from Clay. They're the studio behind some of your favorite games like Don't Starve, and now they have another one on offer, Hot Lava. I'm very excited about this game, but why don't you just tell everybody about it? So Hot Lava is a first-person parkour game. Yeah. It takes place in the imagination of a 12-year-old kid, it tries to relive all those moments you had, jumping from desk to desk, chair to chair, and all the trouble you got into with that. And so we have all these different uh, environments from your childhood, like a, you know, a school or your bedroom, all the way to like an office environment where you're jumping on cubicles because you know work sucks and you just want to get back to that time when you were a kid. This is something that, like when I saw it, I couldn't believe that nobody had this idea before. Like we all played it as a kid. If you walk up to any child and say like, remember hot lava? Like it doesn't need any other explanation. Yeah, I mean, if you go, you look at Minecraft or you look at Counter-Strike and you, you play with people, all of a sudden you'll see them jumping on boxes. Not part of the game. They're just doing whatever they want to do and they're, they're exploring and figuring out locomotion just like you were when you were a kid. So I'm really excited to try to reimagine that for 3D first person parkour and try to give you a standalone experience that lets you go and do that all day. Yeah, it takes, a, a, like you said, a little bit more imagination because when you're five jumping from table to chair or whatnot, that's fine for a long time. But then in you know, the game world, people expect the difficulty to ramp up and things to get more interesting. So how do you tackle that? We start with a progression of levels getting more and more difficult. Uh, but we also do it by having different game modes with, within the levels. So there is this sort of standard obstacle course style completion race, kind of mirror's edge-esque. But then there's also other things, like we're borrowing ideas from Mario 64 where you go and you play the same level again and you have a different objective or you're working with other people to figure out something in that level. So the idea is, like, let's, let's just ramp up the difficulty as you get more and more comfortable with the controller, introduce new mechanics like wall jumping and, and uh, uh, you know, rolling all that other cool stuff. So it's we just we just keep introducing more and more complexity as you get more familiar with the controller and make you feel more like a badass. Well, I'm really stoked about this game. I can't wait to feel like a kid again, and I want to know when can I play it. Uh, sometime next year. Uh, vague, <laughs> vague. But I dig it. It'll come out when it's awesome. Okay. Yeah. I, that's pinky swear. Yeah, pinky swear. It'll okay. be awesome. I swear. <laughs> there you guys it's on go. Record. Hot lava out when it's awesome, and it looks like it's going to be. Thank you so much for talking uh, to us. Thanks. Thank you guys for watching NGN.